Hello everybody, my name is Dr. Joseph Freeman. I'm a professor in biomedical engineering at Virginia Tech in Blacksburg, Virginia. And today I want to talk to you about some of the things that we're doing in my lab. Uh, what we do in my lab are try to find ways to regrow new parts of your body that might be damaged from car accidents or disease or anything like that. Bone. Um, for legs and arms, new cartilage. Cartilage is something that's in your knee that allows your knee to um, bend back and forth and also skin, ligaments, things like that. And one of the ways we do that is by using a process um, called electrospinning. Now this looks like you know a tissue or maybe a very thin piece of paper or tissue, something like tissue paper. What it actually is, is plastic and it's made by electrospinning. And instead of it being one solid piece of plastic, it's actually made out of a whole bunch of teeny tiny fibers called nanofibers. And the reason they're called nanofibers is because their diameters are um, nanometers in length. What is a nanometer? Well, basically, millions of nanometers make up one centimeter. So that's how tiny these fibers are. And so they're so tiny, um, we can't see them with our regular eyes. And so to actually take a look at these fibers, we have to use a microscope. We can put cells on them to try to grow new types of tissue or types of um, parts of your body. Or we can also um, absorb medicine into these and then implant them met this with the medicine into your body so that instead of say using using a shot for um, a type of medicine every day the medicine will slowly come out of the, this uh, electrospun mesh here and then and gently go into your body over time so it'll be giving you the right amount of medicine every day so that you don't have to take it you know um, be uh, about, you know, through your mouth or with a um, shot or a needle so what I want to do today is show you exactly how we do this in my lab. We'll go to my lab and my student, Lee, will show you how we electrospin and then we'll come back. Lee Wright and uh, we're going to be electrospinning today. In this process we produce little bitty uh, fibers about smaller than the size of your hair approximately. And to do this, we're, uh, we have a syringe pump over here. And it's connected to a positively charged, it's called electrode, and that forces our polymer out. We're using a, uh, it's called PLLA, and the positively charged uh, polymer gets deposited on this rotating mantle and it goes through the air. And this side over here is electrically charged. We, uh, we're spinning onto this, it's a cylinder that rotates, it's also called a mandrel. And as it spins, it causes our fibers to uh, align, uh, and we're collecting on these. Uh, microscope slides that work, so we can look at them in the microscope. So to begin... Lee, what does PLA stand for? It's a uh, polylactic acid. So to begin, we're going to uh, start the pump up, and then we will start the mo uh, rotating the cylinder. And close the door. And turn on our positive and then our negative. speed a bit, and now we're electrospinning. If you guys look closely, you can see the mist that's coming off of the tip of the needle. And what that mist is, is tiny little fibers of the PLA that Lee was just talking about. These fibers come out of the, um, the tip of the needle, charged, and they work their way all the way over to the drum, where they're, or the cylinder, and they're collected as the cylinder spins. So now we finished electrospinning. We're going to open up the box, um, pull off the, micro, uh, the slides that we electrospun onto, then we'll take a look at it with a microscope. And you can see it leaves like sort of a sheet on top of the drum or the mandrel.
So you can see Lee pulling some of it off right now. So that uh, sheet of plastic that you saw earlier is actually made up of these teeny, teeny, tiny um, nanofibers. Very cool. Well, thank you very much, Lee. You're welcome. Well, that's about it. I hope you guys learned something about electrospinning and how we build things in biomedical engineering labs and the different types of uh, devices that we use to do our work. If you have any questions about what we just talked about or about anything else that I might mention about replacing body parts, um, trying to help people with biomedical engineering or being a scientist in general. What you can do is just ask your teacher, Mrs. Freeman, and she'll pass those questions on to me. And the next time we make a DVD, I will answer the question that you guys gave me. So think about your questions, uh, talk to Mrs. Freeman, and the next time I'll answer your questions. Take care. Bye-bye.